Hi everybody again, this is Carolyn for another channeled message from the Light Keepers who are a group of angelic beings I channel on a regular basis. So welcome again today. And for those of you who are new, I have a welcome video on my YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser, that you can listen to and learn a little bit more about my journey and how I actually began channeling the Light Keepers. And then also there's a free gift video that you'll see there as well with a link that you can click on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness. There are six tips for you. So check that out as well. Additionally, if you're on Higher Self watching me, I will add a link for that video as well. So wherever you are, thank you for joining me today. And I have a little longer one today, but this is kind of neat. It's really beautiful in the sense that it speaks to how we aren't alone in this journey, even though we feel like it at times. If you've gone through spiritual awakening or if you're beginning or even think you are, we're not alone. And we're never alone. It doesn't matter if you're going through spiritual awakening or not. But the point is, they want you to know that we can all connect in. And after you start going through spiritual awakening, there, there are so often times that feeling of you're connected to something greater. But then you wonder, I also feel really alone. So they address that here. And then I have some comments from my journey as well that I hope help you as well. Um, so I will get going. Divine stardust in the sky. You cannot see us, yet we are by your side. Lonely you feel on this journey still, and knowing no one close to you who feels the pull to the path that has been brought in your way. Quieted you are at times in the isolation of your day. Now looking from the inside out, seeing the world in a different way to begin. And all around you, others seem to walk in vain in this world that humankind came to offer their light and bright so strong. And now with this journey long, you wonder at times why there isn't a throng, a path that has opened up to you instead. You see it and travel it and then you feel lost. Which way do you turn and all becomes tossed? And the aloneness you feel in the traveling of this time, of this journey that feels like forever at times can feel like an unraveling of your mind. Know this is the path of the soul the single, solitary one, yet who is part of the larger fold, all to eventually become one, one in knowing and being two, and not just in words, when all begin to take the great turn. Spread throughout the lands, you wonder why it is you sit and ponder your fate in this time so true, but it is about the greater strength of you, choosing because you came here first to lighten the load of others' birth, strength of your soul you know you are even with difficult times that can scar but alone you are not for we are right here angels among you that fly without fear around you so we are always there call on us to assist you and know that we are here brought as a gift to humankind but few seek us out and yes we are sublime but the help we can bring as you speak to us true and form the relationship for friends you are due. Ask us to come in your way, spending time to build the relationship today. As you journey forward so, call on us to help you uphold the strength and the depth of who you are brought from the heavens ever so far. Be patient as this journey unfolds, for this is the greatest gift that you have within your heart as you travel through and as you do, this, our stardust, will alight upon you. So there's that channel. And I just really could relate to this one. And primarily because I've been alone in this journey for really the first year and a half, other than going online. And I wasn't on any Facebook groups. I was just kind of watching videos and reading a lot and just doing my own thing. And I guess I was so busy I didn't feel lonely then, but then I started to feel lonely like there is nobody around to talk to about this. And ultimately, I found my tribe. I guess I would say I'm finding my tribe. That's probably a better way to say it because it takes a while. Um, and, you know, I made that point in a, another video in that, you know, it's just not the person next door necessarily that's going through awakening. Maybe nobody in your family, nobody in your friend set. So it's difficult. So online is a great way to meet people. But in the meantime, what we forget or we don't even know about, and honestly, I never thought about this before awakening, is that 
We have spirit friends. I mean, angels, this is in particular speaking, I think, to, to the angels. They are here for us. We have a guardian angel. Oh, my gosh, I'm getting chills right now <laughs> as I'm talking about this because that's always a confirmation for me that what I'm saying is accurate, and they really want to emphasize this to you, and they're really wanting to emphasize this, that they're here. They're here for us, our guardian angels, our angels around us. All you have to do is call on them. And yes, we can't see them with our physical eyes, but when we open up to our gifts, and a lot of times we will get intuitive gifts as we go through awakening, you might be clairsentient, you may feel them, you may hear them. Like I'm very clairaudient, and obviously I get channels from them, so I, I talk to them regularly, but that's different than actually having a personal conversation, helping them guide you along your journey. Um, you know, others of you have knowings, or so, some of you may even be able to see them. I mean, that's amazing. Um, I don't yet have that gift, but I think it would be neat to see your angels. So my point in this is we have spirit help of all kinds around us. They are a gift to humankind. You know, that goes back in ancient texts, too. You can look at that and, and read that and see that for yourself, that they're around. And the majority of humankind believes in angels, if you take a look at the stats. And yet, what do we do? We don't do anything with them, right, for the most part. Um, but they're here to help. They're part of that divine connection we have and support. But we have felt so long that we aren't worthy of this. I mean, deep down, we've been taught that, you know, we're just lowly and you know, you can use the religious term sinners, and we have so much to overcome. But no, that's not true. We're here because we're a divine spark, and we are supposed to be here and be powerful beings. And our angels and our guides are here to help us do exactly that. So calling out on them in any way that works for you, um, you know, I could do a whole video on how to actually connect with your angels, and maybe I'll do that sometime. But um, it's a practice process of just calling out like you would to any friend and being patient and maybe asking for a sign and you know during this spiritual awakening journey so many things come our way with synchronicities and signs and don't be surprised because if you ask you'll probably receive so i will leave this with you today and if you want to um, catch any of my smaller like channels and and meditations that i do on occasion i have a facebook page that I've mentioned before, but I'll mention it again for those of you who are new, Purple Rain Healing. Head over to Facebook and check those out. So thank you again for joining me. And reach out to your angels next time. I'll talk to you soon.